What is the quickest way to remove events from Google Calendar? Believe me, I have tried many options and there is still no bulk removal option. Uh, so for example, if you want to delete something from a full day, uh, just in one click, it's still not possible, but there is a way. So in this video, I'm going to very quickly show you how to do that. And I'm going to show you some three really cool uh, extensions for Google Calendar that I'm using every day. And I think you will like them as well. Okay, so over here we are in uh, my calendar. This is the monthly view. So if we want to get rid of uh, some events, for example, you are going on holidays and you have some repetitive events in your calendar uh, that you want to get rid of. The best way is to go to the schedule view uh, or just uh, click A and then you just click on uh, today and uh, you move to mm, the mm, day where you want to get rid of these events. For example, I'm going to Croatia for holidays and I want to get rid of all of my uh, like regular uh, events uh, that I'm doing. As you can see, I'm a very mindful person. Okay, so then you will just uh, right click. And this is like really important. You don't need to move your mm, mouse at all. You just like right click and then you will see that there will be like this uh, highlight. Okay. Um, so you just click it and then uh, instead of going with your mouse, you know, all the way here and deleting it, you just click enter. Okay, so like this and then enter. Like this and then enter. Like this and then enter. And uh, you know, um, like that. that is the thing that you will have to be doing. Uh, but uh, this is like the fastest way uh, that I have found. Uh, there is no uh, other way, uh, at least for now, you know, so, but it's not um, tragic. It's, it's perhaps, you know, um, not the most uh, soulful experience uh, that you can have, uh, but uh, this is it, you know, and I recommend that you uh, do it uh, on uh, your uh, computer because in this way it's way faster. Uh, otherwise, uh, on the mobile app, it's uh, a little bit longer. Mm, it takes quite a while. So, you know, you can just relax for a few minutes, uh, get rid of uh, some of these uh, events. Okay, so like that's the main thing, but I just wanted to show you mm, some other uh, really cool mm, things um, that I'm using mm, with uh, Google Calendar to make it more productive. So just really quickly, okay, three uh, kind of Chrome extensions. Uh, the first one is Checker Plus uh, for uh, Google Calendar. This one has really a lot of options, but the main one is that, for example, here you can see that uh, it will display your full schedule and um, it will show you how many minutes you have until uh, the next event straight in your browser. So this is like uh, extremely helpful. Uh, I've been um, using this uh, quite a while and it has like many, many different options uh, available. Um, you know, you can do a lot of things with that. There is a paid option even, uh, but uh, like that's um, thing number one. And I'm going to include uh, links to these things in uh, the description. The next one is uh, calendar dark mode. So if you were wondering why my calendar looks so cool, uh, it's because I have this uh, dark mode uh, installed. Okay, so uh, you can have your full calendar. You can even assign like custom colors. Um, you know, you can make it as cool as you want. Uh, and uh, you know, it's 2024, let's uh, stop um, using um, like the light mode, right? And then the finally, uh, the third one is a Google Calendar Quick Duplicate. Uh, this is uh, extremely helpful if you want to quickly duplicate an event. Uh, you know, instead of just creating an event from scratch, um, you would just uh, go, um, you know, to an event and then you have this um, button here where you can just click on duplicate event and it will automatically create a duplicate like right next to it. 
So this is way faster to duplicate events uh, if uh, like uh, versus you know creating uh, another event from scratch. Okay, so mm, that was it. I hope that you have found this video helpful, and I'm going to see you in the next one.